Driveworld has just updated, so let's check it out. And here we are in game. Driving around, you'll see that they have added eggs around the map, which are for the Easter event. These go along with a new weekly challenge, which is smash 250 eggs, which will give you 50,000. And looking at the weekly car, we actually have the exact same car that we had before the Rally RS, and they even give us uh, $500,000 as well. And driving over to the right side of the map, over here we have some deserts seeming to be forming. Uh, this seems like the map's going to be changing over here to have less water. And looking in the dealership, they actually added every single car pack. So you don't have to wait for one of them to come back now. And also in the dealership, they added a option to change the rim color. And here are the new cars, one of them being the Contender Fiend. And here are the customizations for it. And while we're in here, they added a new tire type being the sport tires. When you max this out, it has a score of 1,209 and a horsepower of 1,866. And with stock gears, it seems to be around 300 miles per hour. Looking at the other new car we have is the Rossant R. On top of the new colors for the rims being added, they added a whole bunch of new info for each car. With this car, the only tires that change the score are the off-road tires. And once you max this car, it has a score of 932 and a horsepower of 1,075. The acceleration on this car is pretty slow, but it can get around 310 miles per hour. Looking at this car, that might actually be pretty good for 1,000 score races. Going back into the customizations real quick, if you head to the plates section, you can actually add 
seven letters now onto your plates. And with the week of April Fools being over, they remove the zoomer and in the races they don't have soccer sprint anymore. And now looking back at jobs, they actually completely nerfed these and made these way worse now. Same with uh, Sandy Sprint and I think they also might have done this with just normal cars as well. And also they just finally added a play again button. Which will teleport me to a random trailer delivery spot. As you can see, normal cars only giving around $4,000 in payout. And heading over to Soccer Field to show you real quick, they removed the map, but they kept the two balls here. And now on top of races being able to be picked, they added a new voting system where you can choose the restriction of the race you want to go into. And as you can see, they will usually pick the high restrictions because that's the only restriction they have. And since there's no new weekly car, I won't be showing you me finishing these this time. But if you were to get this car, I would just recommend throwing it into a 400 class because now that 400 really isn't going to be chosen as much, it doesn't really matter if you have the best cars. And if you're needing a Rally RS tune for this, it's an i6 engine, race pistons, race crank, no exhaust, no aspiration, no intake. Max clutch, max nitrous, no tires, no brakes, and this will make it exactly 400 score. And this is a tune I have. I don't really know if it's the best, but it's a good starting point if you need a tune. And that's about it for the update. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this, and I'll see you in the next video.